What's up, YouTube Nissan owners? This is a 14 Nissan Rogue. Nissan Rogue. So, uh, yeah, the guy who brought this here <laughs> didn't think it needed brake work. So he asked if I would go for a ride and show him what my road test revealed. And uh, so he's just putting around the back streets, you know, under 20 miles an hour and the brakes aren't grinding or squeaking or screaming. So I said, all right, let's get out on the road and accelerate up to 60. So he gets out and he puts around up to 40 and he applies the brakes. I notice it. I said, well, you're not really going fast enough. Accelerate up to 60 and hit the brakes. He hits the brakes. I said, you hear that? Yes. That means your rotors are completely warped because it's transferring the vibration into the brake pedal on the steering wheel. He's like, wow. He goes, I said, well, just hang out. Let's, let me put it up in there. I'll show you. There's an exhaust shield rattling. And if you look at the inside of the rotors, uh, you can see that they're rust pitted and the brake pads suck all the way in, meaning it's worn all the way down. Uh, and this thing should have had brakes done, not today, but probably four or five, six months ago, maybe a year, depending on the driving. You can see all the rust bits in the rotor and there's no friction material left. So uh, it's the same procedure for every car. For me, get the tires off, get all the tools that you, you need to do the job. So this car, this car requires a 19 millimeter for the bridge bolts. Okay, so that's these bolts here that hold the bridge to the knuckle. And then 14 millimeters for the caliper bolts. So if you see, for me, I always unbolt one and then flip the caliper up to access the brake pads. Then I check the sliders to make sure that they move in and out on both sides. And if they don't, it's either sell a replacement caliper or take it apart and uh, um, get it lubed up or freed up or however you can get the slider sliding again. Um, and then you're gonna knock the rotor off and put new pads and rotors on. If you're just doing brake pads, to each their own and depends on the requirements and needs and the quality of job. We always advise new brake pads and rotors with every brake job. Um, and if there's a problem, I can stand behind everything 100%, which normally there isn't because we're doing it right the first time. Um, and that's pretty much it. So get yourself a good set of brake pads uh, and rotors, um, some lubricant or never sees. Uh, you want to lubricate all the tabs, lubricate your sliders, make sure they move. You can put a little uh, RTV silicone behind here on both pads. It helps absorb the vibrations and minimize noise. Um, and then keep in mind, drive 500 to 1,000 miles easy so the brake pads and rotors can seat in. Uh, and here's my choice of tools. Snap on half inch gun, 19 millimeter swivel. Snap on 3 8 gun, 19 millimeter swivel. So this is to take them off, this will be put them on. Then I'll hand torque them, make sure they're nice and tight. 14 millimeter snap on swivel, take off the caliper, uh, caliper bolt, just one remember, so I'm not unbolting stuff I don't need to. And then reverse the process. Thanks for watching.